गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विद द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ जियो जेब्रा ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सॉफ्ट इल्यूजन्स सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट गेयर पेयर गेयर्स आर द मैकेनिजम्स यूज फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग पावर एज वेल एज वेलासिटी दीज आर नॉन एज पॉजिटिव टाइप डिसप्लेसमेंट बिकॉज देर इज नो स्लीपेज बिटवीन द मैकेनिज्म when power is been transmitted okay so now let's learn about basic parameters of gear pair which we need to know if we want to make a geo zebra gear pair mechanism so let's start with number of teeth of gear number of teeth of pinion module in our case in uh, the geo zebra we have kept module 5 which can be variable we also need to know center distance center distance is defined as the center distance between the centers of gear and pinion and face width face width is the parameter which defines the thickness of gear which is mostly equal to 12 times module or 15 times module now module this is a parameter in gear which is essential and must to be given to manufacture gears module defines the shape of gear and the thickness of teeth so further we'll talk about the relationship of module diameter and gear teeth diameter of gear is given by module into number of teeth and remember each gear pair has same module like if the module of gear is 2 the module of pinion will always be 2 in a single gear pair this is very important okay now let's go to center distance center distance is defined as diameter of pinion plus diameter of gear divided by 2 basically it is radius of pinion plus radius of gear yes here the bigger one is known as gear mostly and smaller one is known as pinion now center distance if we put the diameter in terms of module and number of teeth we get center distance is equal to module into number of teeth of pinion plus number of teeth of gear divided by 2 with this formula will be used in our geo zebra to make the illusion so let's go through the illusion oops yes see this is a system this is gear this is pinion and these are the teeth on pitch circle diameter of gear and pitch circle diameter of pinion so here they mesh so let's start so number of teeth of gear are 6 and number of teeth in pinion are 3 as there are 6 dots and 3 dots here okay so now we have colored one red dot one teeth as red and other as green so we will define a parameter name as gear ratio which is equal to the ratio of teeth that is if there are 6 teeth in gear and 3 teeth in pinion the gear ratio will be equal to 3 divided by 6 that is 1 by 2 that means when pinion moves twice gear will move single time as you can see here the red part this is 1 2 and it comes here so these two rotations will give one rotation here and similarly here module kept is 5 so technically diameter is equal to module into number of teeth 
that is 6 into 5 that is 30 and uh, this will be diameter so radius will be 15 so we can see exactly the pitch circle diameter is at 15 mm and center distance will be equal to teeth teeth so it is 6 plus 3 9 into 5 45 divided by 2 that is 22.5 so this is 0 and this is 22.5 so exactly we satisfy all the conditions and this illusion we can change number of teeth by any number consider 30 and 10 so here there are 30 teeth and here there are 10 teeth that means when this rotate once this will complete three rotation similarly we can change this to 80 and this to 50 any number we need so basically as we increase number of teeth the diameter will go on increases the center distance will increase and similarly we get a gear pair illusion and one more thing when this gear moves clockwise direction this gear will move anti-clockwise direction so when we transmit motion we get opposite direction motion in a single gear pair we can get same direction motion if we connect third idling gear so this was the basics of gear pair if you like this video do share it and if you want to learn how this GeoZebra is made wait for my next video to come this was a video for basic theory and illusion made by GeoZebra thank you